Okay, and what this does is if you put in any list of uh, you know curves, numbers, points, whatever it may be, it will start to divide it into two different lists depending on what the pattern is. And you see there's already a default pattern in there and it's dividing it up into twos and twos and ones and so on. If I hover over SIF pattern, you see that it has 0, 0, 1, 1. That means two items are going to output 0, two items are going to output 1, and it repeats. So instead of that, what we need is just 0 and 1. So I'm just going to make a panel. Make sure it's multi-line is off. And so you have two data items, 0 and 1. If I put those in there, you see that now I have one curve going in up with zero, the next curve goes here and so on. Now I don't like these nulls, so I do want to remove the nulls and one way to do that is to just clean this up. So type clean tree and if you put in a tree you'll see that it clean it up and get rid of those nulls. I can copy and paste this and here. Now it's much cleaner. Now let's see which one of these is the inner curves, so to speak, which will be the peaks and which one will be the valleys. If I use my red line component, very useful component to just highlight some curves, you'll see that the first set that I highlighted is actually the ones that are going to be the valleys, right? They're going to stay down. So, and the next set of curves is the ones that we need to move up or down. In this case, we're going to move them up. So let's go ahead and delete these for a moment. Okay, so now we know is this one we need to worry about. This we need to move up. 